just gotta get the bottom there. You always forget to record. No, no, there's a lot of people that ask for recording. Okay, just. Good evening, everybody, all around the world. Thank you very much for joining us here. What's an honor and a privilege it is to have you all here. First of all, I just need to make a statement and say, listen, yeah, um, we are talking here from, as friends, um, the group that we are advertising used to be our old, um, uh, uh, um, what group now again? <laughs> <laughs> the group on the Telegram group? Um, uh, testimonial. Testimonial group. And um, that's, there's a new one that was created, so we changed it. So that's the reason why you are on that group. Um, we are not there to take anybody away from what you are doing. We're not trying to, I don't have a link for something else to you, for you to join or anything, please. That's not our idea. Um, my friend Raul there, um, we know each other for a long time or for a period of time. Um, we've, we've met in person and um, it's an honor and privilege having you here. So what our main idea is and and what do we want to create here as a platform where we can start throwing around around ideas because i think we are as many of all of us all around the world are in a place in a situation where we need um, some guidance into something else that can give, give us a cash flow now um, and not to break down what we've got, it might be a little bit longer term. And, and I'm thankful for that platform where we met so many beautiful people all around the world. Um, it's an honor and a privilege having that. With that said, it's, it's, um, we want to come up with ideas, uh, what to do, how to do, and see how we can help one another and be there for one another. Um, and 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 educate each other and ourselves in the long run so yeah um Ruel, what, what's your wise words from your side uh, i've got tons of them but we we need to <laughs> just <laughs> you know when when as you get older you wonder all the wisdom that you've learned in your life how much of it you've actually applied or how much are you applying and when people that are younger than you're looking at you and thinking what an idiot look at him <laughs> so yeah. give a, let's start with a little bit of background from um, you and Alessia and you know what the road that you've been on and you know your background where you're from and then I will do a little brief introduction because there's a lot of exciting stuff that we want to share with you and I would like as we are sharing and talking that you guys can chip in you know in the chat box you will not interrupt us. You'll just chip in and we're like, what did that person just say? <laughs> but oh. we, would, we, we would like an interactive experience with you people because, you know, yeah. as, a, as a trader, I have been warning the guys since September last year that there's, there's trouble in I the know. world and we need to start listening. And the guy's like, no, the markets are still going up. So <laughs> early warning, early warning system. Don't, you know, don't wait until it's, we in the down in the dumps before you say, hey guys, you know, we're in trouble now. Don't know. All right, Stefan, please you go ahead and do your intro. Well, I started so far, so I can give my hands <laughs> over to my wife. I think if anybody wants to say something, they can just lift yeah. their hands and then we can then, then we can give them a chance to talk as well. So it's very informal what we are doing, yeah. There we go. Right, so hi everyone, my name is Alessia. I'm married to Stefan or Blockies, however you guys, however you know him, for almost 27 years. And it's been <laughs> interesting, let's call it interesting. Um, we have lived in a few different provinces, starting in Limpopo for five years, and then in Petersburg for five years, uh, five years in Pretoria, and we are currently in East London for the last 12 years. I do acupuncture and massage, and I'm always looking for something else to accompany the income. Because as we all learned during COVID and that, you can't just rely on one source. Mm. Uh, all the clever, wealthy people say between seven and nine different sources of income or streams of income. So that's what we're aiming for. And we have people like uh, Rural on here that talks about crypto and how to and when to, and I've actually done a course with his wife 
because I'm not proud to say I'm not the most computer literate person, but if she can work with me, she can basically work with anyone. So if that gives anyone hope, good. And that's about everything for me. Um, myself, um, yeah. Uh, always been looking for something, always been working for myself. Um, but unfortunately with COVID, I had to close my business um, after 10 years. Um, not a nice feeling. Um, then uh, put my money into something. Um, and at the end of the day, it cost us more than everything, um, where we lost a lot of, not just financial, but friends and, and, and uh, family members, because you start talking and so on. And then at the end of the day, somebody will walk away with your money, which is never nice. But, but it will be nice to, to start here and creating a group of people where we can discuss certain things. If, if something comes up and it's, a, it's not just to join under my link or something like that, it's let's discuss it. Let's go into it with knowledge. And we've got people that like yourself, Roel, that you can do some research about, about this website, when does it start and by who or what, things like that. It's things that we can make educated decisions, how to take things forward. Um, where I would like us to start um, is especially is, is starting to work on ourselves. You know what? We can have the most amazing program, like most of us that's on here come from, from, from our jail. You know what? There's good money to be made, but are we ready to handle that money? Um, are we educated? Are we just going to squander it? And like the people that win the lotto and after five years, we worse off than what we were before we won the lotto. You know what? Is, is that what we need friends for? That's that's why I'm so privileged to say, Roll, when we went down to Cape Town, we stopped by you and Nelda. We, we, we greeted one another and we it was this awesome experience doing that and, and some of the other people as well. And, and that's what we not, need to start doing is to realize that's why we are being put together and that's why we need to stand together and help one another as much as possible. Um, I think it's also, it's, you know, we all have different giftings, different areas that we're interested mm. in and what you can bring to the table, like you've done research in something else, bring it to the table, discuss it. Listen, I've found this out. I'm not saying join, I'm not saying do, I'm not saying don't. We just want to share information and then you decide what resonates with you. Do you, don't you? You go do your own research further, uh, reach out to other contacts, other people, and then you decide. Yes, I think whatever this avenue is, that's what I'd like to pursue. And um, if we can share that knowledge, the more people we have to share that knowledge, the less mistakes, the less running away with money that we're all working so hard for. And, um, you know, we, we're in a time where, where things are getting really tough. We all know that uh, things are going high. We don't have electricity, but we've got like more petrol to pay for and all, uh, all those type of things. So we're all looking for ways to be positive, help each other and be there for each other because people are really taking strain. And just that support group of, listen, guys, I found this, maybe go and check it out. No, it's not for me, but thanks anyway. Or I'll give it to a friend. Maybe that, you know, that type of networking. I think that's the bottom line of what we don't want to do. We don't want to steal anyone from any way. We don't want to also be like, this is my group and nobody's allowed to do anything. Else. That is nonsense. You decide. You're an adult. You decide. Yes, this is what I want to do. This is what I don't want to do. And we take it from there. Thank you. Well, Alicia, I, I liked your introduction. It was the Leon Schuster style, sweet and short. Like me. Yeah. I need to teach my wife that also now, the, yeah. the, the short introduction. I'm going to give you a little bit of background. I'm not going to really go and, and, and go, okay, I was born in Krugersdorp, lived in Pretoria. I actually lived in Petersburg. Um, and you know, like I'm, I'm probably the least qualified person on this call at the moment. I mean, if you've had if you've had anything more than matric, I'm probably less qualified than you. But one of my one of my my main focuses in life was to learn to to understand how a woman thinks. Now, at least at this point of time, you're going like this, or you're going, you know, you, you're having all these kind of responses. So at least I'm an expert at one thing. So if you've, if you've done 
something for 30 years, you should have a bachelor of some, you know, uh, well, I'm not a bachelor anymore, but I, I would have <laughs> a bachelor of. <laughs> and in, in all my life, uh, I was a pastor for seven years from 2001 full time to 2008. And then they kicked me out the ministry and two years later, they kicked me out the church. So, you know, it's like it gets my life gets more exciting by the by the year. And um, even the jobs that I had, I even had one of my bosses that said to me, what must I do to get rid of you? And I said, pay me three months um, salary and then I'll go. He says, uh, consider it done. This afternoon, this evening, you'll have the money in your account. I said, we must assign. And he brought me the forms and I signed the forms. What I do believe in is the entrepreneur mind. So tonight is really about entrepreneurship. Every one of you, and hopefully with the words, words aren't important, but words can be important when Eckhart Tolle, you, you guys know about Eckhart Tolle. He talks about the spaces in between the words. And he talks, when he talks, he sometimes pauses because he knows that when you say something to somebody, there's a there's a point that the speaker also has to pause for you as the listener to digest what's just been said. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna try I'm gonna try that method because I get off on a tangent. I sometimes that's why I give my wife some of the training to do because I I go blah, 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 I get excited and the person's like what so that i want to tell you a little bit about the journey in the last few months because a story is always something that appeals to someone then adjusts a bunch of theory we 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 were in cape town we moved from pretoria to cape town because our crypto business expanded quite rapidly in cape town cape townians are a, a lot more open minded in than people in Durban. We didn't have many customers in Durban for our crypto business. So we went like once in once once in a year, once in two years to Durban. But we went twice, three, four times a year to Cape Town. So we ended up in Cape Town in a very nice area called Marina de Gama. And Marina is like, hey, you're on the water and you it's 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 a stunning, stunning place to stay. And during that time we I said to my wife, you know what? Everybody's staying on the beach here. There's, if you, most of Cape Town is on the beach, on, built on beach sand. There's very little. If you got, even go up the West Coast, you just have white sand that people are building their houses on. So a lot of the, lot of the Western Cape was underwater at some or other stage. So I said to my wife, um, I see there's a big need for, for compost over here. And we got a source of compost for like 10 rand a bag. And we were looking at the shops that were selling them for like 25 rand a bag. I said, I see a, an opportunity to sell compost. She says, so, you know, selling shit to the people. <laughs> no, it's like, <laughs> but I said, well, if you don't do it, I will do it. And I knew I didn't have time to do it, but if you see an opportunity, you want to make you want to make the best of that opportunity. So the next thing, I, I bought this old Mercedes Benz. It cost me two, um, 20,000 Rand. It's an old C280. And, and she was putting compost in the back seat and in the boot. Now just imagine, somebody comes with an old Merc at delivering <laughs> SH1T to you. And that's how we started it. Uh, and she just, she, she doesn't like it. She likes a challenge. I mustn't say you must sell compost. So she's like, but Scorpio, but Sagittarius. And you never tell a Sagittarius what to do. And she was like, he's given me a challenge. I like a challenge. He's like Winston Churchill. He was full on, give me a challenge. And she started selling and we made a few thousand rand a month just selling compost. So when we decided, you know what, there's, there's problems in the world. When this COVID thing came over our lives and whether you got COVID, whether it's real, whether it's not real, whether it's actually 
proven that there is a virus or not a virus, it's affected us financially. It's a serious, it's affected us all in such a way that if you had a, a thriving business, unless you were selling security or having a security company or, or building fences or something like that, everybody has suffered in some way or another. And have we, fortunately, our, most of our clients were all over the world in America and all over. And but by the way, guys, I've got load shedding. So when my, I said to the guys tonight, hey guys, yes, a Zoom call, we're gonna do, they got load shedding. So I said, me too. See, the load shedding, I'm using a light so that you can see my face. So we need to find a way to stop making excuses for what the government is not doing. And there are simple ways. So we're gonna discuss the simple ways to, 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 to make things happen. What is the opportunities that we're having right now? And I told the people, we need to look at thin food. We need to be looking at, at growing vegetables. Stop planting flowers in your garden. Yes, flowers are nice to look at, but you can't eat them. They're not so, uh, okay, roses are, are um, digestible vitamin C, but they're not so, so nice to eat. And how many people are eating flowers every day? So we need to start thinking differently. And that's what happened with our business because our business went fully Zoom. We all became zombies, zom zombies, zombies. And yeah, and we don't want to go down that road because there's, I've got, I'm very opinionated on some, something down that road. But we decided we want to make things work for us, whatever. So if I, if I spend, how many, just in the chat box, I just would like to know how many of you are working for yourselves? You say me, I'm, you know, I'm a plumber, I'm an electrician, I'm whatever, just, just in the chat box. Because by putting it in the chat box, we'll be able to network with each other and say, we can actually start using each other's services and advising each other and helping each other build, build um, a network. Okay, so estate agent, that's brilliant. Um, yeah, okay, we are, we are what? <laughs> um, holistic health clinic. Where, where is that, um, Mumtaz? Herbalife gridding. Uber driver, wow. Doctor, but I work for myself. Port Elizabeth, okay, so um, holistic health in Port Elizabeth. So I didn't know that there was a holistic health person in Port Elizabeth, which is close to you guys. And somehow a person can then decide to find way, you know, how to help each other. And, and this is what happened. We decided to move out of Cape Town. You guys can still um, post if you, I mean, if you are working a job, is, is your job paying you enough money so that you can survive? Because when I met my wife for the first time and she told me, well, I'm working for the airline. And I said, and how often do they pay you? She said, um, once a month. I said, and the other 29 days? And she like, what do you mean? I said, I mean, if you... You're only getting paid once a month. What, 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 what are you going to do the rest of the month? You, you don't have money the rest of the month. So she needed to learn to make money every day or to earn money every day. And this is the purpose of this call. How can we earn money every day? How can we find... We are, I have a friend who's a policeman. Uh, my background is I went into the police straight after school. And this friend of mine said... I'm a, I'm a terrible salesman. I'm not a good salesman. I said, you're the best salesman I've ever met. He's like, huh? So every time you buy a product that you like, you're always talking about it. You're always telling everybody about it and people go and buy it. I said, but how much have you earned on the sales of those products that you've promoted? So whenever you meet people, you can promote something that everybody has a need. So I think I think the biggest biggest thing in 
I've learned is to listen to people, ask questions. Those are the two biggest secrets. Listen to people and ask questions. When, when you ask a question to somebody and you ask, oh, what do you do? No, I'm, I'm an Uber driver. Okay, where, where are you driving Uber? No, I'm doing, so okay. Yeah, here's a question I'll ask you. All right. Um, do you do private private um, Ubers? In other words, if I if I need to get to the airport now and I'm in your town, would you come and fetch me if you're available? And I guess the answer would be yes. So what, what would your price be? What would your rate be? And then at least I know I'm supporting someone in my network. So someone else, okay, um, Herbalife. Um, I need this product. I need some, some beetroot. I need some whatever. I, how much is it? What is my best price? Believe me, I'm not going to accept your, your um, distributor or retail price. I'm going to ask you for a better price because we have to help one another. Okay, holistic health, estate agent. There is so much spectrum for estate agents at the moment. And anyone can become an estate agent. You don't even have to pass the exam. You just need to know an estate agent that you trust. Because you, a friend of mine, um, two, a few years ago when we wanted to sell up in Pretoria, he told me about an estate agent who sold his house. And he had to sell his house. He had no other option. Sometimes a person just has to sell something to be able to manage your monthly payments. And, and I told him and his wife one night, you need to sell you. And he said, I know an agent. And this agent came, well, he had his own business, his own agency, and he sold that house within a month. He had the money in his, in his pocket after a month. And I said, that agent, would he be willing, would, he, would you phone the agent to sell our place? And he phoned the agent, the agent called me and he said, I've got two clients that want to see the place right away. So we sold our place within two weeks. But my friend earned 5,000 Rand just on the referral. So if your mom or your dad or your auntie or uncle or your dog or your cat wants to sell their place, then find out who knows an agent and you can make money out of the via, via, via because it's about networking. We're on this call for networking tonight. What are your thoughts, um, Stefan, Alessia? Just unmute yourself. Okay, let me see if I can just ask you to ask to unmute. Okay, give me a six second. There, you go. there we go, thank you. To, to be honest with you, um, thank you very much for that, that um, Mumtaz that's got uh, holistic health in Port Elizabeth mm. and the doctor is both on call, the doctor from, from I think he's in, in England, in the UK, both on call. Um, we had a, a thing about two months ago um, where Alessia needed some blood tests done and through our connection, um, with Mumtaz and the doctor, we got it much better priced through Mumtaz and specialized um, advice with the doctor yeah. as well. Yeah. And, and, and that is what's so phenomenal about what we are busy creating here. Mm -hmm. So there's so much more than, than just friendship or just making money. It's making friendships for life out of this. Um, and we're, we're actually on our way next week again to go and see Mumtaz as well and, and, and look more on how, how that holistic health, how we can incorporate it, how can we help more people with that as well. So basically it boils down to exactly what you were saying, Raul. It's reaching out to those contacts or remembering, um, 
oh, who's in that line of work? Oh, okay, where are they? Okay, great. And I must say, Stefan's really good at that networking part, that, yeah, the networking part of that. But it's, it's like between Mutaz and Dr. Landini, I would not have the reports and the, the blood test taken at a quarter of the price that I would have had to pay here. I mean, the doctor has been, and Muntaz have been absolutely phenomenal with us, with answering all my questions. Um, you know, they, they've really gone over and above and beyond in helping me. And of course, I'm going to refer people to them because of the way I was treated. Of course, I'm going to say to anybody in PE, go to Muntaz. She's got so many people at her disposal. She's got so many contacts. She can, and she will find out for you. If she can't do it, she, she's, she's a networking marketer of like note. So it's definitely that thing of reaching out to who you know, what they know, and then connecting the dots, as you said now. now. So thank you to Mumtaz and doctor. Thank you. Appreciate. And the, the uh, Ironman winner that was this year in, um, in PE um, was, was through her as well. Mm -hmm. he, she's been treating him, helping him to, yeah. to get back on track again, just to give you an idea. And this is not just to promote her business, but that is what we're supposed to be doing by helping one another like this. I think what we, we want to do is we want to stimulate everyone's minds to, to open up to all the possibilities. And when we arrived in, I don't know how many of you know of or have been to a little town in the Western Cape called Kaletsdorp. <laughs> yes, <laughs> besides our co-host. Co um, and while you're thinking of Googling where this is, <laughs> um, I, wanted, I want to tell you something. We arrived in this little town as, you know, you, when you go to a big city, you're a small fish in a big pond. If you go to a small, small town, then you you're kind of a big fish in a small pond. But what happened was I started inquiring around town and I said, is there a WhatsApp group in town? And the people are like, no, there's a, a beat wach. You know, it's like a, you know, okay. But, you know, buy and sell. Because buying and selling online is, is definitely the way to go. And every one of us need to be on a WhatsApp group or several WhatsApp groups so that we can see what's available. Sometimes you get huge bargains there. And you don't have to keep the bargain. You, have to, you can resell the bargain to someone else on another group. <laughs> so what we did was we, there was only a Facebook group. And we decided we're going to open a WhatsApp group. And today, after four or five months, we've hit 200 people. Now, I mean, a little town like this, for 200 people, we actually have half the town on, on the group <laughs> because there's 400 households. So at least <laughs> one person of every household. And the people say, you, you need to charge the people to be on the group. I said, no, 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 no. There's a bigger picture here. Sometimes you need to build relationships, start networking, networking, building relationships, and then the business will come. Mm -hmm. So there were two, I'm going to give you an example. There, were, there are two hairdressers in town. One is a brand new person from Pretoria, and the other one is one of those hairdressers that come and do your hair at your house in the convenience of your own home. Both hairdressers are busy. Like, you can't believe that I went and spoke to both hairdressers in the second week of starting the group. They said, I'm getting 12 new clients every week. Now, if you're a hairdresser, that's, that's, that's pretty good. And the one, the one hairdresser actually showed me her program, her, her diary. And she said, I'm sometimes half past nine at night, I see my last client. I mean, this is a little one horse town for most people, but she is so busy. And in the process, we, we have these health products because we started a health, product, a health shop in town. In the process, we found people that like our products, but are in sales. So we allow them to sell our products and make a profit on those products. So what we must never think that I'm, I want all the profit for myself because that's, that's, that's a silly way. That's the old fashioned way of doing it. 
a network marketing has started with the first company called Neutralite, which became Amway later on. And they said, let's, how many people can work for me while, you know, how many, how many of you make money when you talk? Because if you're not making money when you talk, then you're talking nonsense. And, and, you, <laughs> and what you say isn't making sense. You need to make money when you talk. Now, if you've got other people that are making money while they're talking and they are selling what you're selling for you, by all means. So this hairdresser started us talking and she talks a lot. Folks, I don't want to talk about people that talk all the time. They don't even breathe in between sentences. They talk so much. But I went to have my hair cut by her. And it's like, and I'm a good listener. I do believe I'm a good listener. And after she was talking, I said, can I put some products on your shelf? She says, yes, by all means, what have you got? I said, I've got the best thing for hair growth. You've got bald hair, you've got, you know, your hair is falling out. There's like gaps in the, on, I've got the best thing. She says, by all means, bring it. How much is it? I said, it retails for 120 Rand. Bring, so I, I brought her 10. She said, everybody wants, this. I took like the second week I took, ordered another 20 for her. So do you see that the, the opportunities every time you meet someone, don't be shy to talk to them. Don't be shy to listen and ask questions. It's about networking. I've sold stuff to people. I had a client phone me. He says, I'm looking for a tipper truck, a six cube tipper truck. I used to sell that kind of stuff three, four years ago. I don't say, Oh, no, I'm not in that business anymore. Mm. No, that's the wrong answer. It's, let, I'm, I'm going to save your number. Let me get back to you. Because those are the kind of things that you can make three or four, 5,000 rand a shot. That's why estate agents use their contacts. And sometimes when you Netflix, go and watch, watch things on net, uh, programs on Netflix um, those of you who like uh, property, have you ever watched Selling Sunset? Selling Sunset is like, okay, don't watch the last season because it's just about the drama between the estate agents more than the actual sales. But there's a lot that a person can absorb and learn with networking with people. What do you guys say, Stefan? Yeah. And this network, you know what, that's, that's was one of my ideas as well from the beginning. If we can form this group and we, 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 can, we can have such a friendship, then when something does come up, we can, and it's the right thing. And it's the thing that we all believe in. There's so much that can come out of this, um, out of this friendship, out of this platform that we've got, where we can take it much further than, than just around, yeah just in South Africa, like we've got from Namibia, we've got UK, we've got everywhere already, friends of ours all over. So yeah, no, definitely, we need to do that. Yeah, and, and like the situation we have in South Africa now is, is people are getting depressed. Folks, the best inventions, the best progress that has ever been made in history were made in the 1920s and the 1940s because of war, because of depression and recession. Don't let the average, don't become the average person. Don't think the average way anymore. We all need to go progress. I know I had somebody said you know, like, okay, I've got load shedding. How long has load shedding gone on for in South Africa? I mean, it didn't start this week. Mm -hmm. I've got load shedding at the moment. You see, I can switch off the light. You see, this is my only light. That's what you see. And okay, at least my screen is still shining on my face. I could have said, no, guys, we can't do the call tonight because I've got load shedding. We can mm -hmm. make excuses or we can make money. There's, yeah. there's, we can capitalize. What I needed to do is 
because if I started buying UPSs, now I've got a UPS that that lasts for five hours that I plug into. It's a, it's a it's one for the modem for the router. It lasts for five hours. So if there's a, a level six stage six load shedding, I've got internet throughout. So I can be in the dock. When you're on your cell phone, your cell phone is the best tool you can have. I want to give you some, some advice. If you've got a cell phone contract and you're out of contract, in other words, it's longer than two years, it's time for an upgrade. If, you, if your cell phone says memory low and all of that, it's time for an upgrade. It's time for a memory card or something or to clean. I'm, I'm going to give you guys lots of tips on, on, on cellular because... Your cellular is one of your best tools to make money. And if you do, if you're just on social media to see what your friends and family are doing, they're going forward and you're going standing still. You need to be on social media to, to be making money, to be moving forward, to be taking. And I, I'm not saying that a person mustn't go and see what the other guys are up to because. Social media is what it says. It's about socializing with people because we don't do business without socializing first. The Japanese have in their, in their systems, you go to Japan and you want to sell them a product. They might hold you for three to five years before they will start buying your product because they want to see if they can build a relationship with you. And relationships is what, what is dependent on how often you do business with people. And I've messed up big time. I've got lots of people that they, they don't even talk to me anymore because, you know, the markets went down. So I'm the I'm to blame for that. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. I totally hear you. Listen, there's, what is, there's about five minutes left over. Is there any suggestions from anybody that want to say something or ask something? Um, am I right to say there's about five minutes, Ru? Well, there's, there, yeah, we don't have a limit on the call, but I think we, we will, you know, end the yeah. call in the next five or 10 minutes, just, just to, but we want to, while you guys are typing in the chat box, the, uh, this is just like an intro. This is just like an interactive chat. We want to take yeah. this some steps further. I mean, what we decided was we want to build a business network in our town. And we've got people that knit dog jerseys people that are thinking of um, leaving their business and, and um, selling meat. Because, you know, meat, the butcher on a, on a kilogram of lamb, gets 20, uh, the, the farmer gets 29 rand a kilogram. We had 30 rand for the, the guy at the abattoir. The guy that buys it from the abattoir adds another 30 rand. And then the, 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 that guy sells it for another. So there's a, at least 30% or plus. And there's three guys that are part of the, the process before you buy your meat. So we are setting up a co-op so that we can have the meat before it gets slaughtered. If the guy's got 10 sheep that he's selling, we will... Put on our WhatsApp group that there's 10 times quarter sheep. In other words, 40 quarters sheep quarters that are going to be available in the next week and people need to start placing their orders. In other words, there's no waiting period between the buy and the sell. All right, let's get a look through the... Yes, we will We will start a WhatsApp group for that. Oh, we've got, so we use the Telegram group that we've got. All right, great. Oh. The, yeah. yeah, there is a Telegram group. Um, can you while can you place the link on on the on the call for now? Oh, I, can I can I forward the link to you and then you place you it can. on, please? You can. Thank. Um, I see somebody wrote there. Let me just have a look here. Uh, we should do this again. Maybe give others an opportunity to share what they have been doing, and maybe others can ask what they need help with. Absolutely, that is exactly what this group is about. If you have an idea or if you have a business idea that you want to share, you can contact Stefan. I think they're going to contact you, Lavi. Yeah. Contact you on that Telegram group. Say, this is Blocky Stefan, whatever you call him. Um, not Lavi. 
that's reserved for me only. Um, you can call him and just say, listen, yeah. I, have this, I, <laughs> I have this idea. Um, and we put it together, we put it out there and let's see what happens. This is exactly what this group is about. Exactly that, to share what you have and what's close to you and to get other input and other, you know, some people are really good at research. Some people are really good at like going down rabbit holes and finding out and all that. That is exactly what this is about. Yes, yes. And let's, we've all been down the scam route. Uh, some of you are still down the scam route. I had someone sending me a message the other day. Well, would you look in, into other ways of making money? And then I like, yeah, yeah, okay. Sh throw, throw the thing on the table. Well, if you click on this link, I said, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. I teach people how to make money with their own money in the crypto world. And it's a scary world to be in, but it's actually a good time to be in crypto right now because it's like at the bottom. Don't come and say you want to, if you send us a link, you will be removed off the group right away. We want to be able to build a network. I think all of you are from South Africa, am I correct? No, no, no. no. Okay, so maybe if, if you guys can just say on the group where you're from, whenever you, you know, say, well, you know, I'm, I've got, um, you, you know what we see happening right now in town? We see farmers dumping tomatoes and onions by the ton. So our, we need to network with these guys that are dumping the stuff because you, you, you know, I mean, when you buy tomatoes, uh, when you buy tomato sauce, you know that you're actually buying fraught tomatoes. When you buy an apple cider, what uh, apple cider and apple Kaiser, it's just fraught <laughs> apples. But somebody is is taking that and turning that into some some product, mm -hmm. and we need to think of canning, canned fruits, and all of those kind of things in the in the yeah. future. Um, I wonder, must we put Stefan's cell phone number on there? And then if you if you're not on that Telegram group, maybe you can send Stefan a WhatsApp or a Telegram and say, please add me to that group. I think I don't Ooh, know. Roll no, oh, the, we'll the, the, the link on there. Put the link on there. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I think what we we'll, we will do is um because I know some of you are some, somebody said they're from Cape Town and I know Neil is also from Cape Town. So what we found is like for instance we took a trip from our town to Cape Town and I and I was I'm on a um, a Western Cape farmers group and I said we are traveling this road back to Cape Town. We've got sheep manure, anyone wants. And we, we ended up paying like three quarters of our trip with the sheep manure in the back of the, you know, in the vehicle. So the, that's, that's the way. This is, this is a time that we have to think a little bit differently. You know, um, the world is different. Yeah. And I think also in doing that role, it's another connection. It's another you know, connection of some sort that you're making instead of just scraping your money together, paying for your petrol, diesel, going there. That's an entrepreneur's way of seeking a solution to the problem. Well, that's as what well happens. as networking. I, I met a farmer who bought the sheep manure from us. And in the process, with talking to the guy, I found out because we were busy with a building project. He said, I've got I've got building sand on my on my property, and I've got what they call like the rough stuff. The Afrikaners call it grijs. Mm. So, so we got bucky loads of free stuff to network with this guy, and we ended up every time we fetch stuff from him, we would take some some compost in exchange because it costs us four hundred rand a bucky load, and we're getting it for free. So you need to speak to every person that you a client of and say, what have you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Mm. People like mm. to tell stories mm. about themselves and yeah. everyone wants to sell something. So it's easier to, to, to do business with a friend than a stranger. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, sorry, I want to just say one more thing. I think that really boils down to what you said right in the beginning is listen to other people. Instead of us rattling off what we do, what we know, what, 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 the whole time, 
listen to them, find out where they are and see how you can help them, help yourself and build another relationship. Well, Elisa, I just want to tell you this as, a, as a, like the little cherry on the top now, because I, I, I was in, um, approached by the dating coach soon after I was kicked out of the church to, to do some TV shows. And um, he was so impressed with, with the stuff that I was doing. I, I, he asked me to take the guys out, the young guys, like the 18, 22-year-old guys. How do, you, how do you introduce yourself to a girl? And, you know, those, oh, am, I, am I saying the right thing? And I said, all you need to do is ask the following questions. And I gave them the questions they needed to answer, ask. And I said, if you don't get the right answers or the answers aren't resonating with you, then you just excuse yourself and you go. And if the girl is now asking you questions back and say, asking you about yourself, then you know you can do business. You know, you, know, you can take this to the next level. So we will be spending some time talking about that in the near future. Well, we, we joke at the moment and we say, um, you know, the new pickup lines are, do you have a generator and do you own a petrol pump? Because those are really important things at the moment. Never mind the flowers and the eating out dinner stuff. It's like, you know, if you own a garage that's actually got petrol and diesel in it, awesome. And if you've got like generators and stuff, awesome. Mm. We, we're good to go. We can go to the next level now. So yes. just putting it out. Yeah, I spent some time in Zimbabwe, so that will also, yeah. I'll give you guys some advice on, on economies that go that way, because we, um, and just for those of you, I want to put a, a thing in on, on, because I know a lot of people have been asking, what should I buy now with the, the markets the way they are? And I said, buy silver. So I'm going to leave it at that because it's, it's a good buying opportunity right now. All right, folks. Thank you very much. I have put on the group um, something about um, uh, a video that we watched in this one a YouTube link um, on our on our uh, information group. Uh, interesting findings, um, and it's about uh, the guy that was the um, mentor for um, John. For, for most of the guys, Jim Rowan. for Jim Rowan. Mentor to Jim Rowan. And Jim Rowan was basically the guy that did most of the other motivational speakers like Tony Robbins and those type of guys. It's a recording of the 1962. Yeah. And I think it's a good, Alessa and I started with this and we um, do it now twice a day. It's 40 minutes that we listen to. And we're actually busy now to start defining and writing exactly what we want. Mm -hmm. You know what, it's, it's easy to say, like he used the example there, that his niece said, no, she wants loads and loads of money. And she, Basically the thing where she said, I want to be surrounded by money. I just want to count money. I want money. I want money. I want money everywhere. Just money, money, money. And he said, she kept saying that and saying that. And with it, six months, she was surrounded by money. Uh, she was working in a bank. So the thing is, is to define, mm. I want to be counting my own money, not somebody else's money or everybody else's money, you know? So it's those finer details. And the more you can um, explain something in detail of what you want, the more, more of a reality it will become. And yeah, it sounds, like the guy, it sounds like the guy that said he wants to become the most desirable thing to a woman and then he turned into a diamond. <laughs> <laughs> there you got it, there you got it. But once again, thank you, everybody being here, especially all the people all around the world. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It just shows us um, there's people really in need of this. And, and that um, let's start chatting, let's start supporting one another. Let's build these relationships and let's start inviting our friends. And it's not about you or another. Thank you very much. I think, uh, thank you, Stefan and Alicia. I think what we need to do is, and this is where we take it to the next level in the next week or so, is that everybody that is special, a specialist in a field, when we do these calls, they will have a 10 or 15 minute slot to give us advice in their field, because that, mm. that, that will also build a little bit of confidence in yourself, because a lot of people aren't doing as well as they, they should be doing, but 
putting themselves on a public platform gives them that excitement because sometimes we, the people we are dealing with from day to day might not resonate with us or might not be on the same frequency as us, but we are needing to communicate with a whole lot of new people. And I think this would be a kind of platform that all of us need to meet new people. And you would be amazed how much would come from such a meeting like tonight. Well, I can, I can start by saying I am one of them. I'm actually so camera shy. I am the guy that likes to talk, but I'll take the phone and I'll phone people, most of the people that know me, and I've phoned them one-on-one, -on -one, you know, and, and to be here, to show my face, it's a lot for me. Well, the first time and, I saw and, you on Zoom, Stefan, I, was, I always thought you were in the swimming pool when I saw you on Zoom because you, you, you looked like this. I thought you were like... <laughs> Thank you. So, so there is improvement, you see? Much more. Oh, you've just like. <laughs> thank you. Or, Once again, thank, thank you, everybody. Roll. Thank you for setting up. You'll make sure you're going to put up uh, the recording for us on the group there. Really, really appreciate it for, from everybody. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate it. Thank you, Roll. Thank you, folks. Enjoy your evening and have a lovely evening. Have a good evening. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.